what I find the most disturbing, frankly, especially as a supporter of women, is how much of the hate is women completely spewing that to other women. And I cannot make sense of that. Meghan Markle spoke out against hate on social media during a panel on International Women's Day. And she also shared how motherhood got her through some dark days. On Friday, the Duchess of Sussex took part in a panel at South by Southwest called Breaking Barriers, Shaping Narratives, How Women Lead On and Off the Screen. During the panel, which included Katie Couric and Brooke Shields, among others, Meghan reflected on having to combat hate online and how that took a toll on her. The bulk of the bullying and abuse that I was experiencing in social media and online was when I was pregnant with Archie and with Lily and with a newborn with each of them. Um, and you just think about that and you to really wrap your head around why people would be so hateful. It's not catty, it's cruel. Megan explained how her motherhood journey might have been what helped her get through such a tough time. Certainly when you're pregnant or you have a newborn, we all, as moms, you know it's such a tender and sacred time. And I think, you know, you could either succumb to it or nearly succumb to how painful that is. And maybe in some regards, because I was pregnant, that mammalian instinct just kicked in. Do everything you can to protect your child and as a result, protect yourself too. Megan shared that now, she keeps her distance from social media for her own well-being and said that there's, quote, so much work to be done in terms of keeping people safe. In addition to speaking out about the negative impacts of social media, Megan also discussed a new report that the Archwell Foundation helped fund about portrayals of motherhood in television. She was also asked about the famous letter she wrote as a preteen to change a sexist dishwashing liquid ad and spoke about the power of using your voice. It's funny to look back at it now because that was before social media where you had a reach that was so much greater. It was just an 11 year old with a pen and paper, but it just, I guess, goes to show that if you know that there's something wrong and you're using your voice to advocate in the direction of what is right, that can really land and resonate and make huge change for a lot of people. So your voice is um, not small, it just needs to be heard.